Hey, buddy, pal, sorry I'm late. There's traffic. What the hell happened to you? You looked fine yesterday. I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, girlfriend uh, Jessica, she broke up with me, all right? I had a couple of drinks last night. You know, it's all right. I lawyer better drunk than I do sober. Uh, Dutch courage. <sighs> anyway, uh, what's the situation here? What's going on? What? I went on one date with that girl over there. She says I sexually harassed her. I didn't even hug her. She left five minutes into the date. Not one? She didn't hug you once? <sighs> Women. They're awful. They're terrible. We'll show them. What? Counselor, are you ready for your opening remarks? Yes, of course, your honor. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just ladies. Cold, horrible, heartless harpies. Don't you have any hearts? He didn't even hug her. And now you want to throw him in a hugless jail of loneliness? Don't you have any hearts? Don't you have any feelings? No. You're all just horrible harpies waiting to feast up the daily meal of a man's heart. <laughs> you. You look like Jessica. Oh, your sister, did she talk about me? Did she mention me? Your Honor, can, sorry, can I get a new lawyer, please? I'll give you five minutes. Court's in recess. You're all monsters. Monsters! Warpies! God, God! Jessica! Are you a lawyer? Son, I've been practicing law for 40 years. I know more about the law great, than you Great, great, great. Come on, come on. Follow me, come on. Go ahead, counselor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client is clearly not guilty of sexual harassment. I mean, what even does that mean? Boys will be boys. And sure, he slapped her around a little bit. <laughs> what? I never. <laughs> She's a floozy. She's a tramp. She was probably out on her special lady time. I mean, what's a little squeeze? It's a compliment. It's the cost of doing business. Your Honor, can I... I mean, look how she dressed today. Auga. Mm. Last chance. Get it right this time. Don't worry. I got this. I hope so. I mortgaged my house for you. Ladies of the jury, my opening remarks will also be my closing. You see, when the plaintiff claims my client was sexually harassing her, he was at the frozen yogurt venue as seen here. At exactly 8.08 p.m., cell phone records will show he drove straight home. He could not have sexually harassed her. He was not even there. Case closed. Madam Forewoman, have you passed your verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Excuse me, excuse me, Your Honor. Can I have one moment to confer with my client? Now. Please. Make it quick, Counselor. I'm trying to get a menage going with jurors five and eight, but I can't really read people that well. What's your take? What? Jurors five and eight. <clears throat> Five's really cute. She seems kind of be into it. Eight's a little iffy. What do you think? Can't this wait? She's about to tell me if I'm going to jail or not. Five keeps sending me these sexy sex. This one ended with T-Y. What do you think that means? Thank you. It means thank you. Oh, I thought it meant touch yourself. Well, is it like thank you in a flippant way? Or Are like... you almost through? Just one moment, Your Honor. Please, please. Hurry up. Five's obviously really cute. Eight looks like she's done more things. Sexual things. Things my wife won't do. Stop it. I'm not gonna help you bang the jury. Whoa, 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 Mr. High and Mighty. I got another hour of footage of you going sloppy sloppy on those sweet cones. Uh, Your Honor, please. Can I get another... Can I get another lawyer? 
or a mistrial, anything. I don't know what's going on. These people are, none of them are representing me well. Oh, you men. You're guilty. You're all guilty. Bailiff, throw them all in jail! <laughs>